Salaki, it's lucky. I had to cut that one. Uh, that one got cut. But let's continue. So, call Halagi, how about Shimmy? I was shy about Shimmer Kaku Dash, double honors to the elders and apostle great millstone of Rubel. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. This is the continuation of part two, thou hypocrite, where we, we've grabbed a couple scriptures and we're going to go through some of these articles because there's more. I got to find them. I got to scroll down just a little bit farther and we're going to find them because I seen them earlier and I should have bookmarked them. So that's on me, but we're going to get it. Look at that. Weaponizing e-girls. Uh, how the U.S. military uses YouTube and TikTok to improve its images. So how far the hammer of the earth has fallen. All right. One of the most popular influencers. Her name is Haley Luan or Lu John. Provocative, somewhat cynical sense of humor, which all of us have a... I mean, if you've served, you, you kind of have a dark, cynical sense of humor. That's just what comes with it. Uh, she's friends with Trump's son, whatever, whatever. But a specialist in psyops. Now, the Army does have a psychological... Psy can't talk. Psychological Operations Division. There is a Psychological Operations Handbook. You can find that in PDF form, if you so choose. All right, the career platform for U.S. military recruits states that such soldiers are known for their communication expertise using unconventional tactics to persuade and influence foreign allies and enemies in support of the objective. And it's always about the their own objective, and that is why these other nations will turn against her. And it's happening. You're watching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh work on the minds of these men and these leaders. To turn their backs on the whore. All for the fulfillment, for the sake of fulfillment of prophecy. Because his word will not return unto him void. Alright, so they know. They assume that her account is part of a carefully designed marketing strategy. Blah, blah, blah. Give me just a second. Alright, appreciate you too. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so the armed forces has been experiencing shortage of volunteers for several years. And I personally watched this. Um, I've gone on a couple of bases and I have seen that, you know, back back when I served, it was about when I first came, went in, uh, it was about 12 years ago and every seat was full. And I'm seeing videos and I'm going to bases and and, and forts and, and posts or whatever you want to call them, whatever you whatever your flavor is. And I have seen the empty seats. All right. You got a bunch of um, super effeminate males. Are they are they addicted to some kind of drug or alcohol or, you know, they're they're depressed or, you know, they just they're unfit to fight. They're unfit for duty. All right, recruit. Oh, the Air Force and Navy was more successful. All right. Let's see. Oh, because it involved candidates who were not able to start, sir. Okay, so yeah, they probably had them on a wait list. All right, the, the personnel can be at, attributed to several causes. First, the U.S. didn't have enough suitable candidates. Entry requirements vary based on the service branch. All right. They must be physically and mentally healthy, which most Americans are not. High school diploma. Twenty-three percent of young people in the United States are fit. The rest have health problems, obesity, what a <laughs> obesity, mental disorders, and addictions. And Babylon the Great has done this to herself. She has shot herself in the foot. Or really, the Lord made them shoot themselves in the foot. But yeah, that was this was all that I wanted to grab. You can go to RT News. You can read these uh, on your own. Wait a minute. Is 
main domestic security to raise terrorism threat. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, just a I mean, that ain't nothing. Uh, it could be. You know what? I'm going to have to scroll through here. And I'm going to have to find all these articles that I was seeing earlier today. So, you know what? Hey, it's going to be a part three. So, stand by for that. I'll be right to Zot. Um... I pray that you were edified and I pray that you go and you look at these articles on your own and you link them with scripture on your own, strengthening your faith, strengthening your ability to comprehend, understand, of course, if you were given the spirit to, right? And um, assisting you in standing on your watch as well. So with that being said, Shalom.